Taylor Nicole Dean. Let's talk about her. Now, I'm pretty sure majority of you know who she is. If you don't know, she is really big animal YouTuber. She got more than 1.2 million, I believe, subscribers, something like that. So her audience and influence is really, really big. I'm also subscribed to her mainly because she can be really, really funny and I really like that. And also a long time ago, I sent her an email asking if she is interested in a collaboration and she never really responded. But at that time I had like 500 subscribers, so it wasn't a surprise. Even then she was a bit inconsistent with her videos, but lately in the last few months she started to upload less and less. So I kind of lost interest and stopped watching her. And yesterday I saw her last video. And that's the reason why I made this one. Let me give you a quick summary. She uploaded a video. It was actually about her previous video that she deleted a few hours after she uploaded it. And she was explaining the whole situation. In short, she went out with friend in pet shop. She bought a black throat monitor. And then when she made a video about it and showed the animal in the video, people pointed out that that is not a black throat monitor, but in fact a rough rough neck monitor and that is not really a terrible situation it can happen to anyone i guess if you really don't pay attention and yeah it can happen definitely but the problem was she bought it and had it for a few weeks and as she said she went to a trip and then after she came back home she made that video where people pointed it out. So she had it for that long without even realizing that that is completely different species. Just by googling a black throat monitor and seeing the pictures, you can clearly see that that is not the same species. So that means that she didn't even do that. That is one of the issues that people have. And then she blamed the pet shop for teaching her the wrong care for the animal while preaching that you should never listen to people in pet shop and that you should always do a research before buying any animal. And that is super hypocritical, but it can happen. Still not that bad situation. It can happen to anyone. You have your moments where you don't really think about it, but then it gets worse. Her excuse is that her friend is eight months pregnant and it is really feeling down all the time, but she kind of found enjoyment in caring for animals, but she can't keep animals in her apartment. And she had the idea, her friend had the idea that they should go to the pet store and she will pick an animal there and then Taylor will keep the animal while they both will take care of it. And Taylor agreed to that because as she said, she got knowledge and means to do that. But after getting an animal, she didn't even Google the species name to see any info about it. Really disappointing. And her friend is eight months pregnant. In one month she will have zero time to care for anything other than her baby. So it just doesn't make any sense. And then she goes how she will maybe give it to some shelter because it is apparently wild caught because all roughneck monitors are wild caught. And then she said after contacting the store they swear that it is captive bred and captive bred by them but if it is really a captive bred how do they not know the species name i mean the whole situation the whole explanation is filled with holes and just doesn't make any sense also she said how she got people that are caring for her animals when she's not at home experienced people and knowledgeable people but how no one figured out that that's not the species that she thinks it is how i don't get it and the final reason why i decided to make this video is this part of her video i am sorry to anyone that i let down by you know of course impulse buying an animal and i'm sorry to anyone i let down by spreading some form of uh, misinformation in the last video. I have learned from this and I'm gonna continue to grow and I am not letting it get me down and I'm not letting the mean, awful hate comments that come from it get me down. Taylor, that wasn't an impulse buy. What you did is a definition of an impulse buy. You can't go beyond that level of impulse buy and you didn't spread some form of misinformation. You spread the complete misinformation by not even knowing what species you got after weeks of owning it you can just oopsie out of that your apology is not sincere and by reading the comment section you will see that people see that and yes there is a lot of plain hateful comments that it is true but not everyone is a hater just because he is criticizing you making mistakes is what makes us human and we all make mistakes it is harder for us that are making these videos because all of our mistakes are out on the open 
for people to judge. And that is the aspect that people don't really understand once they are in this position. But still, you need to recognize your mistakes and you need to sincerely apologize for it and not use your pregnant friend as an excuse for all of that mess. And also I get that the easiest way to make a video is to get new animal and then you have immediate content. But this was just so wrong. So wrong. Mm, I think that was all that I have to say. I'm not sure if Taylor will ever actually see this video. But if you do, don't look at this as a hate. Just take it as a friendly advice. That it is straightforward. Look at your comment section. There is a lot of your fans that are really worrying about you. And they don't mean any harm. They just don't like where the things are going. And you should address that. And one more advice. If you are feeling down, surround yourself with people that are bringing you up. And for the rest of you, see you on Friday. Bye! <laughs>